All right, class, in this lecture, we're going to talk about the beehive. Now, the modern beehive, the ones that most of us are using, were invented by Lorenzo Langstroth way back in 1851. What he did was he invented the removable frame hive. And that is the one that we all use nowadays. You know, all those frames we pulled out and look at, that is because of Mr. Dr. Langstroth's inventions. All right, in 1851, he discovered something called bee space. That is, a space at which bees will not feel with propolis or wax. And that space is 5 eighths or about 6.5 millimeters. If you leave a 5 eighths or 6.5 millimeter gap between any part that is inside the hive, the bees will not fill it. Now if you can space your frames, five, I mean 5 eighths or 6.5 millimeters, the bees leave a gap like you see here. That is space for them to move between their hive. It's very important to them. So what Dr. Langstroth did was he discovered bee space and then he arranged the dimensions of the hive such that all the frames and all the boxes have a 5 8 inch gap. All right, now let's look at a modern beehive and we'll look at the parts. All right, this is a modern beehive, one that most of us have. Starting from the bottom, working our way up, it has some kind of a stand. Then we got the bottom board. The bottom board will have an introducer that you will sometimes use, sometimes will not. We can talk about that in the forums if you would like. Then it has a brood box. This is the box in which the queen will lay most of her brood. There won't be much honey in here, but there'll be a lot of babies in here. And then we add a queen excluder to keep the queen down here. That way she doesn't lay her brood in our honey supers. And that's what these are. These are our honey supers. This is where the bees will make their honey that they store through the winter. And we can take one of these for ourselves, but remember we have to leave 100 pounds of honey for the colony to survive the winter. Then we have an inner cover and a telescoping lid. All right, the inner cover has to be used in conjunction with a telescoping lid or they will seal this telescoping lid down so tight that you cannot get it back up, okay? So if you use the inner cover and a telescoping lid, you have to use them together. Now if you'll see between all these spaces, between the frame and the wood, and between each frame, Dr. Langstroth left B space. And also between the top, bo top bar of this frame and the bottom bar of this frame, there's also B space. That way they will not seal it with wax or propolis. That way we can always remove the frames to inspect the health of our colonies. And that's the big thing that he did. He allowed us to look at and assess the health of our colonies and he also allows us to treat our colonies. All right, if you have any questions about the Langstroth Hive or the history of the Langstroth Hive, please address them in the forums.